Hi, I'm Karen Romano Young, and I'm the author and illustrator of Doodlebug, my novel in Doodles. When I wrote these, I just really started drawing, and sometimes drawing allowed me to slow down what I was saying so I could think about what I wanted the story to be. You know, one of these pages took me maybe a day and a day and a half, and in that time I, w I had the chance to decide what was going to happen next in the story, and doing it so slowly because of drawing really helped you do that. So lots of people write this way, using capitals, um, capital letters or emoticons to emphasize what they're trying to say or to kind of show what they're feeling at the same time. And doodle writing is really just taking that a little bit farther. Um, like I did at the beginning of Doodlebug with the letters um, for LA and SF, which are Los Angeles, where Dodo is moving from and SF where she's moving to. So I had her make LA with rainbows and clouds to show that it was beautiful and homey and she didn't want to leave. And then SF is all spider webby and it has spiders hanging down from it because she's kind of worried about going there and she doesn't know what it's going to be like and she's scared. Um, I also developed these little symbols for the different characters in the story. I made Momo a triangle and Dodo is a square and the mom is a circle. Um, with curly hair and the dad is a circle with just a goatee at the bottom. <laughs> Different characters in the book that are important also have other symbols and that allowed me to actually just have a conversation without having to say he said, she said, or to have to draw the people every single time which would have taken up too much room. So how does doodle writing work? Well, I was talking to some kids about doodle writing and um, Sam asked me if I could draw a shark. So, yeah, I can. You draw an upside down V, give it some teeth. And another up upside down V right over it, and give that one some teeth and make them, you know, sort of interlock with the other ones so you can really bite something. And then just connect his nose down to the water. You can actually draw the water, give him an eye, and then all he needs is, right, a fin, big shark. But that's really just doodling, right? What is this doodle writing idea? Well, someone else gave me a sentence um, from her journal. I'm really excited about my first swim meet, but I don't want to have to wear that bathing cap. So I could do, I was... And I will highlight excited, because that's where the emotion in the sentence is, and make it look kind of emotional, make tears coming out from the word excited. Or if I have a longer time, I could even make it into big block letters of some kind to just really make it look enormous and important. I was excited about my first swim meet, but I don't want to wear a, well, if you think about bathing cap, the, what's the problem with wearing a bathing cap? It makes you look goofy. So I started off with big goofy ears, because when you wear a bathing cap, your ears feel huge, and your head feels huge and rubbery, and maybe beautiful patterns all over it that are sort of weird, and your face feels sort of small and pinched. Maybe I should be making her feeling not too sure about wearing this, and you can even put the bathing suit on your little person, make them feeling kind of dorky in the swim in the swim cap, and, and that's how I would do um, that kind of a sentence in doodle writing. Raise this sentence says here. You read it and, and read it with with dramatic flair, okay? My brother could be a real pest. He keeps sneaking in my room. Ugh. I love how you said real pest, because that's exactly what I would have picked, too. So I might um, draw it like this, I would say, my brother, and that's just plain old writing. Can be. Can be. That's, that's very diplomatic of you. To not just say he is. Hey. And that, it's a big deal to you. And, and so if you read it, read, it, read that, could you? Can you read it out loud? My brother can be a real pest. Yeah, it's just, he's a real pest. And I, I love this word, 
he keeps. And this is how I would do this, sneaking in my room. But I would I would make this word just kind of like, you know, give it feet and make them sort of tiptoeing into the room and make all the letters so you just get the feeling of this word sort of moving in on you. When I started doodle writing, there was this huge aha or eureka moment because instead of um, just drawing and thinking about my life while I was drawing kind of two different things, instead I was drawing about what I was writing about. And it all started to be the part of a, a new way to tell a story for me. Um, what's cool about it is that this is all I need. And I can go to the beach, I can be in my car, I can be in a park, I can be on the train, anywhere, and be working on, um, on my books. And that's why I love it.